this class we discuss about three winding transformer this is a figure of three winding transformer one is primary winding another is secondary winding third is called as stabilizing or tertiary winding this is a single phase representation primary secondary tertiary winding this is a equivalent circuit of three winding transformer tertiary means regarding to a third level or stage in some high rating transformer one winding in addition to its primary and secondary is used the additional winding is known as tertiary winding of the transformer because of this additional winding the transformer is also called as three winding transformer tertiary winding is generally connected in delta a delta connected tertiary winding reduced impedance offered to circulate zero sequence currents so large earth fault current flows for proper operation of protective devices in testing transformers it is used as the voltage coil advantages of tertiary winding number 1 when any fault and short circuit occur on primary side and secondary side a large imbalance of phase voltage may be produced which is compensated by large tertiary winding circulating currents number 2 when the load is unbalanced tertiary winding reduced third harmonic voltage and limits the unbalanced voltage the magnetizing current is neglected the third is the winding may be used for connecting shunt capacitors three windings may not have the same rating unlike two winding transformer in which both windings have the same rating the following impedances may be determined experimentally zps is equal to impedance of primary with the secondary short circuiter and the tertiary open circuiter zpt is equal to impedance of primary with the tertiary short circuiter and the secondary open circuiter zst dash is equal to impedance of secondary with the tertiary short circuiter and the primary open circuiter if zst is the value of zst dash referred to primary side zst is equal to tp by ts the whole square into zst dash tp and ts are number of turns of primary and secondary winding respectively here this is impedance this is a per unit impedance so per unit impedance of zps is equal to per unit impedance of primary plus per unit impedance of secondary per unit impedance of zpt is equal to per unit impedance of primary plus per unit impedance of tertiary winding per unit impedance of zst is equal to per unit impedance of secondary plus per unit impedance of tertiary winding we got three equation by solving this three equation we can find per unit impedance of primary per unit impedance of secondary per unit impedance of tertiary winding so per unit impedance of primary is equal to 1 by 2 zps plus zpt minus zst in per unit similarly per unit impedance of secondary is equal to 1 by 2 into per unit impedance of ps plus per unit impedance of st plus minus per unit impedance of pt so per unit impedance of tertiary winding is equal to 1 by 2 into zpt plus zst minus zps now we'll work out one problem the three phase three winding transformer ratings are primary star connector 132 kv 25 mva secondary star connector 33 kv 15 kva tertiary winding delta connector 11 kv 10 mva neglecting resistance the leakage impedances are 
ZPS is equal to 0.08 on 25 MBA 132 kV base. ZPT is equal to 0.1 on 25 MBA 132 kV base. ZST is equal to 0.09 on 15 MBA 33 kV base. We choose base MBA is equal to 25, base KV is equal to 132. We can find the per unit impedance of ZPS. Per unit impedance of ZPS is equal to actual value into V1 by V2 the whole square into SB2 by SB1. Actual is 0.08 into V1 is 132, V2 is 132, SB2 is 25, SB1 is 25. Therefore, per unit impedance of ZPS is equal to J.08. Per unit impedance of ZPT is equal to actual 0 0.1 into 132 by 132 the whole square into 25 by 25 that is equal to J.1. Next, we have to find the low voltage KV base. Low voltage KV base is equal to high voltage KV base 132 into LT by HT. LT is 33, HT is 132. Therefore, 132 into 33 by 132 that is equal to 33 kV. Low voltage kV base is 33. Now we can find the per unit impedance of EZST that is equal to actual 0 0.09 into 33 by 33 the whole square into 25 by 15 that is equal to J.15. By applying this formula, I can find the per unit impedance of primary, secondary, and tertiary winding. Per unit impedance of primary is equal to J.015. Per unit impedance of secondary is J.065. Per unit impedance of tertiary winding is equal to J.085. With this, I conclude my lecture. Thanks for listening.